Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Titus Andronicus, Shakespeare's Gorgias play, though I don't think there's a lot of really gross stuff that we need to cover over again today, so this one might be bearable. <laughs> Um, today we're in Act 4, Scene 4, and we get to hear from Saturnius as he kicks off the scene. But just re real quick recap of what's going on. Tamara had a baby that is actually Aaron's, not Saturnius's. Aaron sent Chiron and Demetrius to go buy a baby, uh, a white baby instead of a black baby that they can pretend is Tamara's son. What, meanwhile, he sent his son off to be raised by the Goths. Uh, one of Titus's sons, Lucius, is actually on his way to the Goths, or maybe with the Goths at this point, uh, trying to raise an army to come and attack Rome for all of the things that Rome has done wrong to Titus and his family. And what Titus and Marcus, Marcus's son Publius, young Lucius, that whole crowd, what they were doing in addition to a few other people, the, like the next part of their plan, remember they had sent some weapons to Chiron and Demetrius with like a, a note of warning, but the next bit of the plan from Titus anyway was to write a bunch of letters to the gods and put them on arrows and shoot them into the sky in the hopes that the gods would hear his pleas for help and help him. And Marcus, realizing that this is not going to work, tells all of the archers actually instead to shoot their arrows into the emperor's compound like into his his yard over the castle wall so that the emperor can see all of these notes that titus has been writing and then as that was going on um in yesterday's monologue at the end of act four scene three yesterday a, a clown happens by that titus gave another note to wrap and wrapped a dagger in it and had the clown take that to saturnius as a sort of messenger and said you know let me know what he says so at the top of Act 4, Scene 4, we are with Saturnius, who has seen these letters, and, you know, Tamara is there and a bunch of random servants and, and attendants and all that sort of thing, um, some various lords. And Saturnius kicks off the scene by saying, Why, lords, what wrongs are these? Was ever seen an emperor in Rome thus overborne, troubled, confronted thus, and for the extent of eagle justice, used in such contempt? My lords, you know the mightful gods. However these disturbers of our peace was in the people's ears, their naught hath passed, but even with law against the willful sons of old Andronicus. And what if his sorrows have so overwhelmed his wits, Shall we be thus afflicted in his reeks, his fits, his frenzy, and his bitterness? And now he writes to heaven for his redress. See, here's to Jove, and this to Mercury, this to Apollo, this to the god of war. Sweet scrolls to fly about the streets of Rome. What's this but libeling? against the Senate and blazoning our injustice everywhere. A goodly humor, is it not, my lords? As who would say, in Rome no justice were. But if I live, his feigned ecstasies shall be no shelter to these outrages, but he and his shall know that justice lives in Saturnius' health, whom, if he sleep, He'll so awake as he in fury shall cut off the proudest conspirator that lives. So Saturnius is having a little bit of a, oh, this is such a terrible thing that's happening to me. He's writing letters to the gods, basically is, is the point of this. He's like, you know, has any, has any other emperor in Rome ever had to deal with such with such abuses as I have to deal with. Look at these letters, look at these letters. And he, he says to the people around him, he's like, you all know that what we did to Titus's sons, you know, when they were killed after being framed for killing Bassanius, but not everybody knows that they were framed. They think that they were actually guilty. He's like, I didn't do anything unlawful to his sons. And now he's writing these letters all over town, asking the gods for help, like all of the gods. This is, this is libel against the Senate. This is, this is very unacceptable of him to be doing this. And he finishes off the piece basically saying that just because Titus is crazy 
doesn't mean he can't be held accountable for these actions of his right now. So he's, he's planning on getting some revenge. And Tamara, there with him, has some thoughts on that topic. And we will get to hear those thoughts in tomorrow's monologue. I'll see you then. Mwah.